Hello everybody, this is JAG, and this is another Street Fighter Legacy video vlog number 8. And today's topic will be Street Fighter Assassin's Fist Music. Now music is the fundamental of creating such a vision come to life. With the music, it helps blend the vision in front of us so we are captivated in mind and by heart for with the music that is provided for us. I feel like the music really hits the mark of a video game adaption to a film adaption. You know, it's like they're combined together even though it's a film adaption and that's what it should be. So without further ado, grab your popcorn, grab some sodas, and put your speakers really loud because today we are listening to some Street Fighter Assassin's Fist music. Okay, so the first song that I want to talk about will be the very, very first song that hit me in the heart. That, that just knocked my breath away with the way I, I heard just the, the, the sound, the beats, the rhythm, the, the, the feeling. It felt just like a Ryu song, just in the form of a film adaption. And that's what it was. I felt I was, wa I was listening to a cinematic film song. And this song was made by Patrick Gill who was the composer for Street Fighter Assassin's Fist. But this was also the same song that was for Street Fighter Legacy. So this was the very first song that they made for the entire series. And I think it fit perfectly in with this. This captivated me and it captivated a lot of people, not only with the action sequences of Ryu and Ken, but with with the, the feel of it, the environment, the way it looked, the way, just, I literally felt like grabbing a controller, like my PS3 or Xbox 360 controller, and just bashing the, smashing the buttons, you know? I felt like I was playing a video game. That's how I felt, but it was a film adaption. So this is it. This is the song from Patrick Gill, Rising Dragon, which also means Ryu theme song.
Now, no other soundtrack can be left without the other. You have Ryu and you have Ken, so you need a good, hardcore, in-your-face Ken theme song for this adaption that they're making. The Ken adaption on the video game arcades is so iconic, as well as Ryu's theme song. So, how do you make an adaption of that to a live action adaption? Well, that's because you got hardcore fans that understand the music and feel the music and think this is right for this character in this moment of the film. So, this is Ken's theme song. Another great song for me that hit me in the mark as soon as I watched the film and or the series on Machinima and then finally when I got it on DVD when I first saw Ryu and Ken running this song hits and this song really hit me really good in the ears I felt like I was in a dream I felt like I was running with them like I was training with them I was training with Ryu and Ken I was learning on Satskin and I was running with them and they were so faster than me but I was catching up you know and then Ken comes and kicks does a side kick to Ryu's shoulder knocking him back and I was like whoa 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 what's going on that's how I felt when I first heard this song this sound just made sense to the lake run because these are rivals they're best friends but they're the greatest rivals they're the you know just a cohesive um opposites of each other it, it's so amazing just how magnifying this sounds this is Ryu and Ken's lake run
next um, song gave me the chills. It really defines how a person that focuses and literally, literally follows what you say, what you teach. It's like someone grabs the Bible and reads it, understands it to the point where it's so much that you literally get engulfed by knowing it. This is what happened with Goki and his transformation into Akuma, which means demon, you know? And he becomes this, this warrior that is unstoppable. And when you see Akuma on live action, you are so terrified. You do not want, you would not want to fight this guy. So this is the rise of Akuma. versus Gotetsu fight and it is an epic fight literally epic fight just within a certain amount of time you see so much of, of their their battles right in front of you and Gotetsu is so clever and Akuma is so powerful who will win in this battle Gotetsu or Akuma. It is a lot at stake here. And Gokin is about to foresee the most horrific act in his life. And it is so horrifying that deep down, Gokin knows that if Gotetsu does not beat Akuma, Akuma's coming after him next. And will he be ready? Who knows?
This next song is Three Days and Three Nights. It is the final sequences in the Street Fighter Assassin's Fist where Ryu and Ken both spread up, split up after their training and they are preparing to battle one another. It is a warrior contest to see who is the best of them and what have they learned thus far. Could it perhaps be the same road that Akuma followed? Who knows? But whatever it is, they're preparing. And that's what this song represents. Preparing for the battle. Three days and three nights. Till the day they face one another in combat. Not just as friends, but other, but as also as rivals, as enemies. song in my collection which I feel um, needs to end with a high note is Immortal Glory. This is the song 
that really defines for me the entire Street Fighter Assassin's Fist story. Um, that of the Gotetsu arc, the Goki Akuma arc, the Ryu arc, the Ken arc, the Gokin arc, um, and uh, just all the arcs in general. And you also have side characters as well, such as um, Senzo, or Henzo, Senzo, the the um, the housekeeper of Gokins. Who knows what he's capable of doing? And you also have the old fisherman, the crazy fisherman, that it, that is, they say Gotetsu's brother. You know, and you also have um, other notable. Um, references such as Dan Hibiki, um, Sagat as the Muay Thai fighter, Gen. So it's leading up to more than just this. This is just the backstory. But Immortal Glory is what Ryu and Ken are after. Could they somehow, in some shape or way, overcome their dark destiny that's in front of them? Because now they know the Dark Hado. Now they know something their master Goken tried to not forbid them from using, they're now using. And it's up to Ryu and Ken to overcome this darkness and perhaps, hopefully, manage to survive. Because Akuma is coming after them. And not only Akuma, but other evil forces are clawing their way towards Ryu and Ken. So, Immortal Glory. songs that will make you or make you feel you're you're watching a real life adaption of Street Fighter. So get a copy of your own and uh, and yeah just show support to Patrick Gill and the composers for Street Fighter um, because that'll be really awesome and uh, and yeah I like the music and hopefully you like the music too and uh, see you guys later. <laughs>